Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm going to talk to you about webcams, specifically using your iPhone as a webcam with Epoch Cam. Webcams are an interesting beast. There's so many options out there and so many variables to consider. I'm currently toying with a multiple camera setup, possibly looking at streaming some of the repairs that I do live. I have a few options for camera but working out which is the best one for the job is interesting. There's image quality, both in terms of megapixels, but also lens quality. But there is also size and weight. I want to have a camera mounted up above my head to look down on my workspace. And I've tried a few different options over time, but they've all been about recording direct to the camera, not streaming. I'm thinking of a camera on the desk that I can look into, like this one. The overhead camera, like the one I used on the all-in-one desktop episode recently. And an over-the-shoulder style camera, a bit like I used on the laptop screen and palm rest that I fixed a few weeks ago as well. That way, hopefully, you can see what I'm seeing. The idea is to have three different cameras and be able to switch between them and have picture-in-picture picture so that you can see what I'm saying and see what I'm seeing. It turns out that the front-facing camera in my laptop is only 720p not the 1080p that I usually use for video recordings. The laptop's also big and clumsy, and I also want to use it as my computer, so that's out. I have the Canon D550 that I'm shooting this with, but it's big, bulky, and heavy. I'll probably use it for the over-the-shoulder shot, as it can stand on the tripod behind me and has a pretty good lens if I need to zoom in. The Breeze webcam that I reviewed a few months ago is pretty good, but I don't actually have one here at the moment. I have the Zoom Q2 HD, that you saw in last week's video. And now that I've upgraded the firmware on it, I can use it as a USB webcam, rather than using the HDMI, which is great. That shoots at 1080p. Also with the USB in it, it doesn't need batteries, so it's light and should work well on the mount up above the desk. That leaves the front camera. I want it to be good quality. So what I found is this nifty little bit of software from Elgato a German technology company that was acquired by Corsair in 2018. They make all sorts of great stuff for video producers and streamers, including this great iPhone app, Epoch Cam, which turns your iPhone into a webcam. Physically, for me, this works great because it's flat and thin and doesn't take up much room on the desk, but it has a 1080p or 4K camera built in, and this is what it looks like in OBS. A piece of streaming software that I'll talk about soon. You'll find the link to that episode up here when it's ready. I'm using Epoch Cam wired through the lightning port into the USB of my computer, but you can use it wirelessly as well if you need to. I figure I'm going to want to keep the iPhone charged so I might as well do it wired. The software is dead easy to set up. Download it from the App Store to the phone. Download the driver from the Elgato website using the link provided and install it on your recording or streaming machine. Plug the phone in or set up the Wi-Fi and off you go. You do need to allow the software to use the camera, microphone and network. It even works in the Windows 10 camera app. Or you can use it in Teams, Zoom, Skype or whatever else you might want to use a webcam for. Windows sees it as just another webcam. It's the same on the Mac. The free version of the software has the small Elgato logo down the bottom and is limited to 720p, but that's fine for testing and possibly even for real world use. The full version costs $12.99 Australian dollars, which is actually quite reasonable, as it also has a wealth of extra features, including access to zoom in and out, a green screen option, more connection choices, microphone access, HDR color, access to the camera flash, and manual focus. I'm pretty sure you'll see this coming to a Tech Doctor video near you soon, but will you be able to tell? Question of the day, do you need a really good quality small webcam with hardware you already have? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking over here, and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.